kind of like a seal beach, ah, south side oh, cool. almost. Okay. This wave called Petacalco. Uh huh. It doesn't really break that much anymore because uh, the sand doesn't really get the way it used to be. But that was one of the heaviest waves in the Americas. Well, here's Mexico's Al Cleland Jr. Good looking wave on the backhand. Oh. Vicious snap there. Hangs on to that one. Teetering <laughs> on the edge. One more snap. Backhand float, airdrop to the finish. He got his number, and he just turned the heat. And how's that no claim claim looking over to? He's like, you see that or what? That was some flow. And he just made this wave. This wave had a family, Kaipo. This wave had a family, and Alan Cleland did not care. Incredible <laughs> turn right there. Straight up into it. Loved the way he grabbed the rail on the bottom turn. And the variation with the finish right there. This, the final closeout section is just going to be more and more challenging because the tide, the tide is down. drawing out. Here we go, Alec Cleland Jr. under priority with loading up off the bottom. Oh, big spray off the top. One Ooh. more hooking turn, building some momentum here. He's got more for us. Another hook on the backhand. Cleland winds up, chops it down for the finish and the body <laughs> language. That tells me he's pretty stoked. Did he improve upon the 6.5? I don't know if it's just emotions, but I think he did. Let's look at the replay here. Beautiful fade, too. Great read here by Junior. Straight up into the lip right there. A lot of spray. Second turn. Love the way he faded that bottom turn again. The second turn was even better than the first one, Kaipo. The wave kind of fizzled out here at the end, but he did very well just to finish it off and was able to fit one more in. And as you mentioned, the body language right there. Feeling the fire, but you said you have more water in your ears, you think, in a long time. Because you took a little bit of a beating out there as well. What was it about those two ways in particular that you were able to attack them with such confidence? I mean, the ways right now, there's a lot of swell in the water, and it's super fun. So I was just stoked to be out there with another person out and just trade off. And, yeah, at the ending of the heat, I got kind of smoked by, like, a 10-wave set. And I just kind of... Didn't even give up, but I threw the wave of shotgun, turned around, and came in. But I definitely have a lot of water in my ears. But it feels good to get a couple waves and a couple turns done. And yeah, it feels good in advance. We know it's so important to have confidence in your equipment. This board, though, pretty new to you. Explain to me when you got it, how you got comfortable on it. Yeah, so I was actually in Hawaii for like three months before this. So I didn't really get to try much short boards. And I, me and Timmy Patterson kind of have like a little thing going so I was like hey I have this contest coming up I need a couple boards so he's like oh I got you so he rushed them and I got here the day before the contest so I didn't know what board to write so I just like kind of every surf that I had I was trying a new board and then when the contest came I was like all right so I went out there with this one and it just kind of worked out good so I'm stoked thank you Timmy best boards in the world <laughs> there you go congratulations we'll see you in the next round thank you very much un saludo a todo Mexico aquí andamos en el mundial a ver cómo va un par de hits más y and if you watched Al Cleland's heat and you see his post-heat interview, he's a unit.